<coughs> Good evening, my name's Tony Knott and I represent Scouting in Northamptonshire. <coughs> it's a voluntary role and I'm the Assistant County Commissioner for Activities in Northamptonshire and manage all adventure act adventurous activities and as such support the proposal both personally and on behalf of Scouting in Northamptonshire. The development will provide an opportunity of extending water activities throughout the county um, and in Nen Valley, which is East North Ants, Wellingborough and Glendon, which is Kettering and Corby districts in particular. Scouting exists to actively engage and support young people aged 6 to 25 in their personal development, empowering them to make a positive contribution to society. A balanced programme is provided, but most join predominantly to take part in outdoor and adventurous activities. And if these opportunities are not provided and maximised, young people do not stay with us. Membership in Northamptonshire in this year, 2013, was 7,600, which is a, a significant number of people. The opportunities and facilities which will be offered by the development is a un unique site that we don't currently have access to and would not otherwise be able to afford. There will be an increased opportunity for water-based activities, including kayaking, canoeing, sailing, rafting and bell boating. There's an increased opportunity for conservation activities and understanding of the importance of preservation of our natural environment. Use of a boathouse, boat storage facilities and a meeting room free of charge. A permanent purpose-built facility would enable us to arrange formal activity training courses, both for young people and adults, which is not easy to do when activities are arranged on an ad hoc and logistically difficult basis. The scheme will open up an empty site on private land for young people to enjoy. And in conclusion, scouting develops young people both individually and as team members and gets them outdoors and engaged in physical activity. Rushton Lakes will give more young people the opportunity to take part in adventurous and exciting water activities. Thank you. John Webb. Good evening, sir. Good evening. The Sea Cadets is a voluntary youth charity sponsored by the local community and the Royal Navy. And the Sea Cadets' aim is to help young people into responsible adulthood. Our activities, primarily water-borne, provide self-reliance, confidence and teamwork to our young people. We aim to get young people active and experiencing new activities, whether that is paddling a canoe or participating in a tall ship race in the channel. The LXB development offers the Sea Cadets a valuable local resource to get young people afloat and active. We can use this facility to get our young people to appreciate the environment and enjoy an active lifestyle whilst being watched by the local community. Young people often get a bad press, but people seeing young people enjoying water sports responsibly will, we believe, encourage others to join and for adults to look differently on young people's skills. The proximity of the LXB development will help us encourage adult volunteer participation, as well as allowing our cadets to get afloat earlier. We currently have to make a 30 minute journey to existing facilities. Therefore, this new facility, every session could be extended by an hour. And that would be really beneficial because the new facility will be close to our main source of cadets and members in Rushton, Rawns and Wellingborough. We find that participation in water sports for young people gives them a sense of teamwork and worth. Often water sports are only accessible if you join a local sailing club or own your own boat. We provide qualified instructors and equipment to all young people. Often the young people we encourage will not have the local parental support, so we provide a minibus for cadets to access, access our activities. However, due to distances, we cannot exploit more potential of more young people. We know that with the LXB facility, the water sports will be close enough for young people to cycle or use public transport to attend our activities and thereby take the pressure off of our minibus transports. The LXB development will offer us a safe environment to undertake our activities and store equipment. 
We know when we make our activities visible to the public, this encourages even more young people to get involved. Whether this is young people, local supporters or volunteers, the public profile helps us give more to the local community. Therefore, we are positive supporters of the scheme. Thank you, sir. Uh, my name is Maurice Waite. I'm speaking on behalf of the uh, Maritime Volunteer Service. We're a national maritime cha charity and we have a, uh, a unit based here in, in Rushton. We have, uh, through, we have a number of core, of core uh, uh, aims, maintaining maritime tradition and training and so on and so forth, providing a volunteer search and rescue team for the local fire and emergency services, and, um, and educating youngsters in the danger, in the danger of, of, of being around water. So how do we operate currently? Uh, well, we do our theory-based training in Rushton. We're very grateful. The Conservative Club in Rushton allows us to use the top floor, so we do our theory-based training there. And our water-based training we have to do in Portsmouth, or maybe London. OK, so we can get the practical, we have to go away for that. We can do some water-based training in Bedford, where we've got access to the sailing centre down there, but you can imagine even that some 18 miles away from Rushton, it brings it all a lot closer. Um, also, we're very limited for storage. It's a problem for us. We're only, well, not even a year, a year in existence in Rushton, but we have limited storage. We have to, one of our problems is we have to turn away equipment, and many people support us and want to volunteer and support us, including the local fire and rescue service. But we've got very limited storage, very little uh, uh, resources in that respect, and we have to turn much away. So what does the opportunity, what does it present to us? Well, it gives us water frontage. It enables on an evening when we train that we can take people out onto the water because as a part of our search and rescue role, um, we'll be using canoes and any uh, ribs and, dura and inflatables, and it gives us immediate access to those, to, 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 um, to training in that area. Okay, so we can do our practical training and our theory training in the same place. Um, it means we can keep everyone in Rushton, which, um, which is a benefit. It, it will give us storage and access to equipment, and it will be a central meeting for our call out. So if we do get called out, when we're accepted by uh, Northampton Fire Rescue uh, as, a, as a, val a viable member of their search and rescue team, um, we want a much closer point of muster. At the moment, um, we'll be looking at Bedford, all right, because that's where our, our, our boat's kept. So that will help us. Uh, it will give us a purpose-built classroom. Um, it will also enable us to recruit more locally and uh, although I've not mentioned it yet, we are twinning with the Canadian Ma uh, search and rescue team, maritime search and rescue teams, and have a, a programme called Kids Don't Float, which is all about educating young people about the dangers of being around water. And it will enable us to do that and bring some of the schools in down to the facility and maybe help, help in that way. The only other thing that, I've not, that I want to mention is we've got something we call a, a future project, which is currently in its concept stage only. We're in the middle of our, uh, we've got a number of projects on, it's, uh, it's on, on the uh, waiting list at the moment. And that is, um, we want to expand water-based opportunities to those people who are yes, less advantaged. So we're looking at um, resourcing vessels that we can modify and adopt. So young people and adults, because we're, in, we're intrinsically an adult-based organisation, can get ac access to water that they may otherwise not have. And that's it from the MVS. No, I can see that. Yeah. And how many volunteers do you currently have? Well, ca currently we've got 15. Okay, all adult volunteers. It's actually been away from the water. People think, well, you're a bit far from the sea, but uh, actually that is an advantage because we've got very little competition. So. <laughs> 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 so. And you said you're interested in, in assisting um, people from disadvantaged communities. Yes, it's what. Sorry. How would that uh, well, it, it, it's, it's not just disadvantage, it's physically disabled, it's the access to some of the vessels. Vessels need to be modified sometimes for some people. And um, we've done quite a bit of informal research and what we're going to be looking for. At the moment, we've just had a, a grant for lottery grant, which we're, you know, we're busy working at the current process where we're at now. But the next step is, is to look for a project boat, something that we can work on that needs a bit of work, but we can perhaps raise the money for to modify so we can open up the access, to, uh, access up to, to younger people. Uh, sorry for less of people. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, I'm Councillor Helen Howell. I'm Deputy Mayor of Rawns. I'm here to represent the Council and residents of Rawns. We fully support the proposed development for Rushton Lakes. Rawns is a market town and the second largest town in the district of East Northamptonshire. 
It's lost its industrial base with the start of the decline of the boot and shoe industry from the 1960s. There are very few local retail and employment opportunities for the residents of Rawns. We see the benefits to Rawns as the follows. Oh, sorry, as the following. Increased choice for local people. Rawns Town Centre shopping only provides the very basic day-to-day -day necessities. We see Rushton Lakes providing greater choice. Improved quality of life. Extending retail choice delivered in an attractive environment creates an enjoyable experience leading to enhanced quality of life. Demand for better bus services. Census data tells us a quarter of the population of Rawns are over the age of 60. These residents may not have access to their own transport, may not wish or have the confidence to drive long journeys for their retail and leisure requirements. We see this development being the catalyst for improving bus services. It will provide the commercial impetus to bus operators for improving their service provision. We see the new County Connect on-demand bus service providing vital connection between the elderly, vulnerable and this development. Limited options for retail, sorry, for rural people. Just over half of Rawns residents are aged between 20 and 59 years. Currently, there are very limited employment opportunities. We want to see more options for these people. The retail offering will not compete with our local shops, as this will be completely different, providing a balanced retail and leisure offering for every age group, attracting high-end retailers combined with leisure and recreational experiences. Jobs. The development will bring new jobs to the area. Apprenticeships, training opportunities both during and after construction. Employment, especially for families with young children who need to fit work around school hours or childcare. The proposed creche facilities on site at Rushton Lakes recognises this need. Flexible working. These types of retail outlets provide flexible working hours for local residents within a reasonable commuting distance carbon footprint. Everything about this development reduces the overall carbon footprint, increased local jobs, enhanced local retail options, improved bus services, increased sporting and leisure opportunities, reducing the need to travel further afield and empowering local choice. Increased footfall to the area. We are proud of what our area has to offer. We need to increase footfall in this area in order to regenerate the region's economy, stimulate tourism and boost the hospitality industry. We need to put the district on the map and this, is, this development will help us do just that. We see it supporting ventures in Rawns, helping bring a hotel and restaurants to our town. During the coming years, Rawns is to undergo considerable growth with over a thousand new houses already approved. We are trying to build on the success that Stanick Lakes has brought to the area. Environmental benefits. There are very few brownfield sites suitable for a development of this scale, especially one with ease of access. Rushton Lakes development will regenerate a derelict and rundown area. The development will protect sensitive sites with its environmental improvements and open up the countryside to visitors. As a local council working for our residents' future, we commend the benefits of this development to you, sir, the inspector. Thank you.